Oh, what the f what the freak was that? Oh hi. Look at this stick. You ready? You ready? Go get it. Good morning, everyone. Last night, Millie and I van life camped here at this overlook here in North Georgia. And I gotta say, this is a beautiful way to start the day. We've got some good views, good food, and we've got some exciting plans for today's video. Today, I'm changing it up a little bit and Millie and I are gonna go on a little camping trip. However, this isn't your normal camping trip because I'm spicing it up a little bit because I'm not gonna pack a tent. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna sleep under the stars on the ground with all the critters and the animals and that's gonna be pretty cool, it's gonna be fun. And on top of that, I'm taking it to the next level by playing a spooky little horror game on my ROG Ally while I'm camping in the middle of the woods on the ground alone. It should be pretty fun, it's gonna be a great adventure so make sure you follow along. But for now, I'm gonna finish this awesome breakfast, enjoy these views, and then start packing up and hitting the road to go on our camping adventure. All right, so here we are in the forest that we're camping in tonight. I'm actually at the Ravencliff Falls Trailhead here in North Georgia, and I'm actually not doing a very big hike. I'm hiking maybe a quarter mile into the forest, setting up camp, and that's mainly because I'm carrying in a lot of gear. <laughs> but at some point I do wanna hike to the falls, probably in the morning or something. But for now, I'm just trying to find a good secluded place to set up camp for the night. Well, I found a really great spot just across this creek over here. There's a nice fire ring of rocks. Seems pretty secluded right on this beautiful creek. However, it looks like the only way to get over there is to cross through the water. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Oh my gosh, this is cold. <sighs> Come on, Millie, let's go.
Come on, girl, you can do it. <laughs> oh, she's being smart. Climbing across the log here. Good job, Millie. Oh, oh no, oh no. You got it, you got it. You got it, girl, come on. You're so close, why don't you go up this way? Look, come this way. Come this way, girl. Come on, come on. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Millie made it across, I made it across, and I'm feeling alive right now. But check it out. This is camp for the night. Got a nice big fire ring in the middle of this forest, right next to this beautiful flowing creek. That water is gorgeous, crystal clear, and ice cold. <laughs> it's actually not too cold today. It's probably upper 60s. Last night it did get down to like lower 30s, uh, and tonight is gonna be the same. So it's gonna be pretty cold tonight, but during the day, it's feeling great, and I'm sweating. But it's time to start setting up camp. All right, folks, I think this is it. Honestly, this is pretty freaking cozy. What do you think, Willie? Really? You like it? Do you approve? Is this, is this home for the night? Yeah, I think it is. Now, this tarp setup took quite a bit of tweaking to get it all set up. You don't realize how much physics go into just setting up a lean-to style tarp like this, but there's a lot to it. I tied up this rope here, which I really should have used paracord, but this is what I had in my van. And then to attach the tarp to the rope, I looped the rope through the holes on the tarp and then stuck a stick through the rope to use as like a toggle to keep it in place. And that worked out really well. And to keep the tarp taut on this side, I just tethered it to some rocks. And I actually lowered the tarp quite a bit because I wanted to have this excess of the tarp on the ground so I can lay on that as opposed to straight up just the ground. And it freaking works so far. We'll see how it holds up through the night. Oh, this is so nice. It's not the most luxurious camp by any means, but that wasn't the goal. I wanted to be as bare bones as possible while camping among this beautiful forest. And I'm just really excited for tonight's shenanigans, especially since, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I hauled in this power bank from Anchor, which by the way, Anchor is sponsoring this video, which I'm very, very thankful for. They sent me the Anchor Solix C800 Plus, which will be powering uh, my ROG Ally and all my lights around camp and recharging my batteries on my camera. This has a standard output of 1200 watts, but it can go up to 1600 watts with its surge pad technology. And it's got 10 charging ports, including a car socket, USB and USB-C ports, five household ports. And what's really cool is the C800 Plus comes with this three mode rechargeable light system inside of the power bank that you can just attach to it and have light around camp. It's super cool and I'm really excited to use this tonight. You can even pair this with some solar panels up to 300 watts to recharge it while you're using it in scenarios like this. Or you could plug it up at your house and it'll recharge to 100% from 0% in just 58 minutes. And with the five year warranty and a 10 year lifespan of this thing, this is a great addition to any camping setup. And if you'd like to get one yourself, you can tap the link in the description below. Shout out to Anchor for sponsoring this video. 
Now I need to gather some firewood so we can cook up a nice big fire tonight. All right, I think I've gathered enough firewood to get us through the night. I've got a nice big bundle right here to start the fire. And then this is to keep the fire going. But now that camp is officially set up and ready for the night, I think I'm gonna have me a little snack and sit by this creek and relax a little bit until it's time to start cooking up this fire and prepping dinner. So for tonight's meal, I'm keeping it real simple, but I think it's gonna be really delicious. I've got some shrimp here with some skewers, onion, and a zucchini. So we're gonna make, what are those called? And I've also got this chipotle lime sauce that I'm gonna drizzle on top. So I think it's gonna be pretty freaking delicious. All right, look at that. Some shrimp and veggie skewers. Now I wish I had some tomato, some yellow squash, but you know, this is what we got. But first I need to make sure the fire has a nice bed of coals before I throw that on there. If I cook this over an open flame, I worry that the skewers will burn and then the veggies will just fall into the fire. So I'm gonna wait, let this fire burn for a little bit, build up some coals and then cook over that. All right, 
whew, it, this fire is hot. But it made me a nice little grill with some rocks and those should be toasting up here pretty soon. Dang, I'm so ready to eat. All right, ooh, these are looking good. Now the problem with this is that these skewers are round, so the vegetables and the shrimp are rotating as I try to rotate it, so it's not cooking very evenly. But wow, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, these smell amazing and I am starving. So I'm gonna throw this chipotle lime sauce on it. Real quick, let's admire this folks. It might be hard to see, but uh, cooked over a fire. Got a nice char to everything. Looking pretty good, smelling even better. Now it's time to sink my teeth into it. <laughs> Holy crap. All I had was an onion and a zucchini, but that chipotle lime on top is incredible. And fun fact, you can eat the tails of the shrimp. Holy crap! Dude, that is good. The char on this is so freaking good. Woo! I'm honestly so surprised by how good this turned out. I had low expectations. It's so simple too, but man, <laughs> this is awesome. I feel like I'm in a video game right now with the lights in the background and the ambient light from my other light over here, plus the campfire. Dude, this is next level. Shrimp is going down, baby. Mmm! You know, the main reason I wanted to come camp out here like this was because, as you guys know, after this video, I'm officially headed west which may not seem like that big of a deal, but I've been spending the past six months on this side of the country and spending a lot of time with my family. And it's been really, really nice. As I've said many times before, this side of the country feels the most like home. And that's because it is for me. I'm originally from this area and I've spent a good amount of my life in environments like this, in nature, in forests like this. And I feel like throughout my life, I've built a very strong connection with the nature on the side of the country. And now that I've decided to go back out west where it's completely different, I felt like I needed to take some time to say my goodbyes to the nature around me. And this is kind of my going away party that I'm throwing for myself. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, folks, dinner's all cleaned up. The fire is nice and toasty, and this forest is dark and spooky. <laughs> and I decided to take it up a notch by playing a horror game called Don't Scream. I don't know much about the game. All I know is that it takes place in a forest and it uses your microphone on your device to detect your audio and if you scream, you lose. I don't know what that means, but we're about to find out. And I'm playing this all on my ROG Ally, which I have connected to an external monitor so I can monitor my OBS recording software. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cozy setup. We've got the fire roaring. I got my games right here. I got my pup right next to me. Woo! This is freaking cozy. All right, enough yapping. Let's get into this. Okay, we're in. This looks cool. It's like a VHS tape. How to play. Survive 18 minutes without screaming. However, there's a catch. Time only progresses when you move and all scares are unpredictable. Use the microphone calibration slider below to adjust your microphone's volume output. Okay, check, 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 check. Ah! There we go. That seems that seems that seems right. Yeah. All right. Let's hop right in. <laughs> this is gonna be spooky. Don't scream. Eighteen zero zero. Oh gosh. This looks kind of real. I guess we just walk around in the forest a little bit until something happens. This kind of looks like the forest that I'm in right now. The immersion is top notch right now. The music's getting louder. I don't like this. Are we supposed to be looking for something? Is there a specific direction I'm supposed to be going? Ooh, there's a tower or something right here. Oh, freak. Did we set off that alarm? Did we do that? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We gotta get out of here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, I think it's getting dark. Yeah, it's definitely getting dark outside. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Freak. Oh, this is a gate. I can't go out this way. Um. Oh, dang, it got dark quick. What's going on? What is this? What's happening? Oh, what was that? What is happening? That was an elk. An elk just ran by. What the freak is that noise? Ooh. Oh! What the? F what the freak was that? <gasps> what is going on? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Ah! Ah! Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Millie, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that got me. That got me good. That was cool, that was cool. Just about what I expected out of a game called Don't Scream. Just a jump scare simulator, but I don't know, I like it. I think it's it's a fun little party game, you know, since it's my going away party and all. All right, round two. Whoa, wait, what? Homestead, Mini Mart, this is different. This is all different. Wait, what? Oh gosh, this is a, this is a dead person. Oh! Wait a second. Am I, did I crash land here? Was I on this plane? That's a really creepy noise. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay, oh. Wait, this is an arrow pointing me in a direction to walk maybe? Freak. Oh, this time around is way creepier. 
This is a road here. Okay, I guess we'll follow the road. What is this? Mini Mart? Oh, we saw that on a sign back there. Oh, this is the exit. Does this mean we went? What the freak? What the? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This is freaking creepy. I do not like that sound. I do not like that at all. What the freak is in there? Oh. Oh no. Uh-uh. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Nope. nope. What the freak was that? Oh, there's that girl. I'm not looking at her again. Nope, nope, nope. Going far away from her. Absolutely not. Dude, we're almost five, we're almost five minutes in. We're doing pretty freaking good. Ooh, 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 what? What? Ah, I was too loud and I ruined it. Freak! I was so close, man. I was so close. <laughs> but that's a cool game though, man. Again, it's not much to it. It's kind of like a walking simulator, jump scare simulator, but just the ambience alone of the game is enough to spook you and get you creeped out when you're camping alone like this, so. I think I'm done. I, I, think, I, think, I've got, I think I got spooked enough, so I'm gonna stop now. Man, it's not freezing by any means, but it's definitely chilly now that it's gotten dark. So I think I'm gonna warm up by this fire and change my clothes, get into something a little more warm. Oh, this fire feels so nice right now. Warm in my soul. I'm having a really great time tonight. Just being able to be barefoot on the ground, enjoy a nice toasty fire with my cute pup, Millie. It's a good freaking night, folks. It's a really, really good night. But it is getting late and I'm starting to get tired. So I think I'm gonna let this fire burn out and then start getting ready for bed. officially bedtime. The fires died down. I hung up a bear bag, which is just all of my food and all my trash in a bag, hung up really high, far away from camp. Uh, and I did that because they're not really a threat here, but there are bears. And last thing you want to do is come face to face with one, just in case, you know? So all of my food and trash is very, very far away from camp. Millie and I are bundled up in our sleeping bag, but I'm just going to play some games on my ally until I fall asleep. And then I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's 10 o'clock a.m. <laughs> I slept in. And honestly, I think this has been one of the best sleeps I've had sleeping in the forest like this. I woke up a couple times to a mouse trying to get into my bag, but for the most part, the forest was quiet. The sound of the creek was so therapeutic. And overall, it was just a really, really good night of sleeping under the stars. <laughs> and Millie slept in my sleeping bag all night long. <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Millie. How'd you sleep? You sleep good? <laughs> all right, it's time to get up. Ugh. <sighs> oh, that sun feels so good. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna start packing up camp here. I'm skipping breakfast like I usually do, and I think I'm gonna start my morning off with a hike to the falls, which is about a four mile hike. So I'm gonna pack up camp, hike back to the van, unload everything, and then go on a nice little hike before we head off to the next adventure. You. you you don't have to be that close let me put my shoes on you helping right now is that what's going on you're helping all right campsite's all packed up now it's time to hike back to the van and i forgot that i have to cross this creek to get back to the van and i already put my shoes on so there's a little trail right here i'm gonna follow this and see if I can find a way to cross the creek without having to take my shoes back off. But Millie, it's time to go. We gotta go pack up the van and then go on a hike. Yeah? Yeah, let's go, come on. All right, let's go see what this waterfall is all about. Good girl, Millie. <laughs> you know, this isn't that strenuous of a hike, but it's a little warm out today. And I'm breaking a sweat. Millie's hot enough to bathe in the water, <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. This is a beautiful hike. Looks like it follows this creek the whole way. Oh, this is so nice. 
It's like I have my own little waterfall oasis all to myself. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Oh, it burns. It burns so good though. It burns great. <laughs> well, this is it folks. It's my last East Coast adventure. And man, what a great way to spend it. I kind of hate to say goodbye, but it's time for a new adventure. And I'm really excited to see what that adventure holds. So I'm gonna spend a few moments by myself here and then I guess I'm gonna start hiking back and then driving off to the next destination. All right, folks, we made it back to the van safe and sound and I am beat and starving. So I think I'm gonna go into town, try to find some food to fill up my belly. But I think that's it for today's video. I just wanna say thank you all for following me along and watching all the way till the end. I really appreciate you. And special shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. And you should consider supporting me on Patreon as well if you want access to additional videos that you won't find here on YouTube. I've got tons of videos on my Patreon that you haven't seen yet, so go check them out. But this is it, folks. The last time I'll be on the East Coast for a while, the next time you all see me, I'll be out west somewhere, probably Midwest, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys real soon. Have a good one.